Hey, so one of the most transformative habits that I recently picked up was the habit of journaling. At the end of my day, spending some time, gathering my thoughts, reflecting uh, some of the main ideas in my mind, uh, what went well in the day, what could be improved on, that kind of thing. And while paging through my journal over the past couple of days and weeks, I realized that there were quite a few battles that I was navigating. And I was reminded of what Craig Rochelle says. He says that most of life's battles are won or lost in the mind. In those times where I was experiencing the most turmoil externally, um, that uh, which was visual, um, could be traced to the kind of turmoil that was in my mind. And I think some of the biggest battles that we face, and especially that I faced recently, was the battle against my identity, against who I am. And I'm reminded that we need to remind ourselves who we are every single day. Why? Because we forget. We forget who we are. And so here's just a couple of things that, uh, some of the notes that I wrote down to affirm who I was. Um, and there's so much power in the word I am when thinking about this. Uh, one thing I'm reminded of is uh, somebody once said that whatever follows the words I am will come chasing after you. So what are you saying after the words I am? Here's just a couple of random words I picked out. Um, I am a child of God. I need to remind myself uh, who I truly am and who my maker is and operate out of that space and out of that security and confidence and freedom knowing that I'm the son of royalty. I am a leader, um, I'm a servant leader, and that means that I lead best, and I'm able to add more value and make more of an impact when I'm focusing on other people. Uh, and then other things like I'm focused, I'm disciplined, I'm faithful, I'm sharp, I'm creative, I'm innovative, I'm a problem solver, I'm a world changer. What are, what are the top three I am's that you use to affirm who you are and that you can use to remind yourself of who you are when the next time you forget. That's it and see you tomorrow.